Sarah Breedlove was born on December 23, 1867 in Delta, Louisiana. Sarah's parents and her four older siblings had been enslaved on a cotton plantation until the end of the Civil War. Sarah was the first member of her family to be born into freedom. The family lived and worked together as sharecroppers. Sarah learned to look out for herself at a young age. She had lost both of her parents by the time she was seven years old, and lived with her older sister. Later in life, Sarah would describe her sister's husband as a cruel man who may have been abusive to her and who forced her to make money picking cotton and doing laundry. At the age of 14, Sarah ran away from home and married a man named Moses McWilliams. Before her 17th birthday, she gave birth to her only child, a daughter named Lelia. Three years later, Moses died and Sarah was a young, widowed mother. Sarah and her daughter moved to St. Louis so that they could live near her three older brothers, all of whom had left the South at a young age to escape racial violence and find jobs. Sarah worked as a laundress for $1.50 a day and went to night school when she was able. Sarah Breedlove faced hair loss and scalp issues, possibly due to a combination of factors, including stress and harsh hair care products of the time. Seeking a solution, she began experimenting with homemade remedies. In the early 1900s, she developed and sold her own line of beauty and hair care products for African-American women. In 1906, she married Charles Joseph C.J. Walker. Sarah Breedlove adopted the name Madam C.J. Walker after her marriage to Charles Joseph Walker. She founded the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company to sell her hair care products. The company's most famous product was the Madam Walker's Wonderful Hair Grower. Madam C.J. Walker was a pioneer in direct sales and marketing. She recruited and trained a team of sales agents, known as Walker Agents, who sold her products door-to-door -door in African-American communities. This network of sales agents helped her reach a wide audience. Madam C.J. Walker's business acumen and innovative marketing strategies led to tremendous success. Her company grew rapidly, and she became one of the wealthiest self-made women of her time. Walker's success challenged racial and gender barriers, as she achieved prominence in a predominantly white and male business world. When Madam Walker was expanding her company, beauty in the black community was a controversial issue. White racists pointed to black hair as evidence that black people were inferior. They argued that black women who could not smooth out the kinky hair were unclean and messy. For many black women, using beauty products to smooth out their hair was a way of fighting back against racism and demonstrating their equality to white women. On the other hand, some advocates believed that by mimicking white hair fashions, black women were catering to racism. Although Madam Walker did sell products that helped straighten and smooth hair, she argued that her products were also about health. Because she had personally struggled with hair and scalp issues, she promoted healthy hair over a certain style of hair. Madam Walker also worked to rise above the controversy by using her business to empower black women financially. She founded several beauty training schools and employed hundreds of women across the country to serve as Walker agents. These saleswomen were trained in the Walker method and were the face of the Walker brand. Madam Walker organized national conventions for agents, where they could share selling strategies, learn about new products, and receive rewards for outstanding sales. For many women, being a Walker agent and working for a black woman-owned business was a welcome alternative to low-paying domestic work. Madam C.J. Walker was not only a successful businesswoman but also a philanthropist and advocate for social and economic rights. She donated to various causes, including educational institutions, and was involved in activism supporting African-American rights. Before we continue our story, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget also to turn on the notification bell to be updated in our every uploads. Madam C.J. Walker's legacy extends beyond her entrepreneurial success. She is remembered for breaking barriers, empowering African-American women, and contributing to the early development of the beauty and cosmetics industry. Her life story is often cited as an inspiration for resilience and entrepreneurship. In 1913, 
Madam Walker and Charles Walker divorced. Madam Walker focused on extending her company to the Caribbean and Latin America. In 1916, she followed her daughter to New York City and moved into a grand townhouse in Harlem. Although she continued to run the business, she allowed employees to handle the day-to-day -day operations while she focused her time on new projects. As Madam Walker's business grew, so did her wealth. In addition to her Harlem townhouse, she also owned a Model T Ford and had plans to build a mansion in upstate New York called Villa Luaro. She created the name using letters from her beloved daughter's name, Lelia Walker Robinson. But Madam Walker did not spend all of her money on luxury. She was as famous for her philanthropy as she was for her beauty business. Madam Walker donated money to scholarships, homes for the elderly, anti-lynching efforts, and other initiatives within the local and national black community. She was committed to helping black men and women escape poverty, just as she had. Madam Walker died from complications of high blood pressure on May 25, 1919 at the age of 51. At the time of her death, it was estimated that her estate was worth $1 to $2 million, the equivalent of $14 to $30 million in 2018. She was the first self-made black female millionaire in America. Her daughter, Lelia, continued in her mother's footsteps. She took over the still-growing company and used her mother's fortune to support artists, writers, and other luminaries of the Harlem Renaissance. As significant an accomplishment as that is, her legacy goes far beyond the financial. She was an active philanthropist and donated millions of dollars to causes promoting racial justice and equality, including the NAACP. She was also instrumental in building a black YMCA in Indianapolis. She also left behind Villa Luaro, a 34-room mansion in Irvington, New York, a suburb she shared with the Rockefellers and their ilk. Walker commissioned Vertner Tandy, the first black architect to be licensed in New York State, to design the Neo-Palladian estate. As a pioneer, an innovator, and a black female entrepreneur, Walker has inspired countless generations. Her impact on the business world and her contributions to the African-American community have left a lasting legacy. Walker's hair products continued to be sold in drugstores for decades after her death, followed by a period of company dormancy before the line was relaunched as Madam by Madam C.J. Walker in 2022. And that's the wrap of our story for today. Thank you guys for watching, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also please press the notification bell to be updated in our every uploads.